What uh, what made you want to put on shows? Because you come to Richmond, you're a musician, but I'm assuming that you don't really have any connections no, in the area. No, I had connections. I was not in a great musical space at that point. I mean, we had no money, <laughs> and uh, the first we moved down here in June of sixteen. And from June to New Year's, we're living in like a in law apartment that's part of my parents' house in Ashland. I. God bless Tanya, I mean, like, she just came to the States where, like, I'm broke. She's got no license. She's never driven a car in her life. We're in this. My parents live in the sticks. It's, like, half-mile dirt, dri dirt driveway, you know? <laughs> you can't really bike on what is, like, Sliding Hill Road or something. I don't know. But so she was just stuck out in the woods every day. <laughs> she was a trooper. Yeah, and then, you know... I, that's why I started working so much because we got an apartment and moved to Richmond and then um, I had met Gabe's Gabriel Santa Maria. I don't know if you know him. I uh, heard of him, never met him. He's a killing bass player mm -hmm. and writer. Um, I met him like the first week in 2012 before I went to my first ship. Uh, I was like looking for music, walking around and uh, he was playing at City Dogs with his brothers and they were playing like a Red Hot Chili Peppers song and I like poked my head in. They were like, yeah, we're playing here tomorrow. So I brought my horn and sat in with them. And, nice. You know, and then like whenever I was, cause you go out on the ships for like six to eight months. Mm -hmm. um, and then you usually get like four to six weeks off. And That's then nice. you go back out for another contract. It depends how hard you want to hustle, but they make you take at least four weeks off because they don't want you to get like go postal on the ship or anything. I think avoiding that is probably a <laughs> yeah. benefit to everybody. <laughs> yeah, so 2012 to when time, 2015, I think, was when we stopped doing the cruise ships. Um, I was in Richmond for, you know, three to four weeks at a time. Okay. And I would always hit up Gabe and sit in with whatever band he was doing. And then, uh, I don't know, there was one night where he posted something about playing at Sullivan's with Dance Candy. And I was like, I had, uh, there was one weekend we went out when we were still in Ashland and like really broke, but like I had bought, the Whalers were playing at um, the National. Yeah. And Juwala Collective was opening for him. And I bought tickets, and then that same weekend, Gabe had posted that he was playing at the Camel with Sam Reed, but I didn't—I didn't know who Sam was at the time. So like, I was like, whatever, you know, we're going out this weekend. We're gonna have fun. I bought—I bought like a little bit of weed from someone I hadn't smoked in like months because I was broke, you yeah. know. <laughs> you, you're ready. <laughs> and uh, and I met—I heard Sam sing. Uh, that was, I think, on a Friday, and then. I saw her at the National during the Whaler show, and it was cool to like, you know, see you all open. I had no idea who they were, but like, they're all very close to me now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and then one one day at Sullivan's, I went to see Dance Candy, and I heard them, and heard Sam sing again, and introduced myself to Mark, and I said, you, you want a baritone sometime? And he was like, sure, bring it, you know. <laughs> Little did he know that I was gonna show up and bring it every week, like <laughs> for the next year, because <laughs> that was like my release. You know, I yeah. was like working every day, and on Thursdays I would go to Sullivan's <laughs> and just play. <laughs> yeah, just play and while out, and then have to get up and paint an apartment the next morning. <laughs> That's okay though, because you were building towards something. <laughs>